are live at the, at the 2012 World Series of Beer Pong. I'm Brian McFadden alongside Jason Tongan. And new to the booth, our man Pete Rawson, who decided to come help out. Dude, very nice to meet you, bro. You, you're basically our eyes and ears of this whole entire tournament. We're so stoked to have you here because we are pretty much clueless. We love beer pong, but we don't know all the rules, and, and you pretty much know all the players because you yourself are essentially a beer pong pro. I do, I play a lot of times, I know a lot of these players, we've got some big games going on right now, it's the round of Sweet 16, so all the teams here, they're ready to rock, we got Bang Ryan in the house, we got Vaughn and Pop, they're still playing against each other, it should be anything goes, I want to surprise, I'm waiting, I want to see what happens. You know, uh, JT and I, we've been talking about who we think are the odds on favor to win this tournament, we, you know, uh, Bang Ryan has been won, uh, we actually, we lost, we lost some uh, some guys a little bit earlier. The, the ones that won last year, Sandy O is gone. Lost by five. Sandy O is last year's champions. They're still two. They're still champions. They're still champions. But uh, tough loss for them. Team guys game right now. Team Bangarang is playing right now. Do you think these guys have a good shot of winning this whole tournament? This game we're on right now is huge. Yeah, Bangarang is Javon Hamilton, two-time champion. Playing with Foster, he's never won a champion, but always a top player. He's featured. He's always playing great. So we should be well, a huge game right now with Ron Hamilton versus Team Bang Ring. Now, you see a lot of, uh, you see, you see a lot of like trash talking going on. Sometimes you feel like they're, these guys are getting so heated up, beer's gonna be thrown and fish is gonna be flying. Never happens, like everybody is so crazy, they're going against each other, but after the game, everybody's friends, everybody hugs it out. I mean, it's all, it's all about distractions. We saw the piece earlier, it's a great piece, but now it's just all about the game. You being from Brooklyn, New York, you know all about the distractions, trash talking. Brooklyn, New York, you know, that's what we do. We trash talk, play basketball, play beer pong, and it's all about trash talking the whole way. You got a whole bunch of different things, you just go what you got. The accent's so, like, the, the, the East Coast accent's kind of intimidating a little bit. It sounds like a mafioso. It legitimizes trash talk. Yeah. It's a great so deal. You can't even understand what they're saying. It's like, chaka waka 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 waka, you have no idea what they're saying. <laughs> chaka waka waka waka, yeah, absolutely. So, what we were just talking about while we were watching the package as well, that, then we had uh, Team Boomerang, or Bang Bangerang, and uh, Ron Hamilton's back in there. This is double elimination round, as we were talking about before, right? Yep. Double elimination, it's, it makes it a lot harder, because now you have to beat the winner of this bracket twice. And uh, you can't lose anymore, one more game. So this, this game right here is an elimination game, and you don't want to see Ron go home unhappy. Ron Hamilton's an ugly man. I've got a question for you. I disagree with that. I think he's quite handsome. I just don't approve of his haircut. But Pete, question. I've been hearing people, uh, a word around the laundromat is that Pete's kind of been in hiding the last couple days, not really going out, not being present. Is that true? Who's been in hiding? Uh, Hamilton. Hamilton. No, is he Ron? Has he been laying low? Ron lays low. He doesn't do too much. He, uh, he gambles in the first couple of nights, but towards the end, he just he disappears. And you just come, all of a sudden, you see him in the ballroom. Where does he disappear to? He had a full head of hair before it started. Now it's in my whole place. More like this a might half be, a head. He's might, pretty focused. He's pretty focused. This might be the best looking haircut he's done to himself in the past couple of years. I was talking to uh, Team Seek and Destroy earlier. They're the top seed in this tournament. Uh, going into today, they're the top seed. They're from St. Louis, Missouri. These guys these guys are well focused. I mean, you look, at, you look at two people that are determined to win this tournament, it's definitely them. Let me see what the score is over there. Team right here, so you can destroy. Like from St. Louis, like you said, uh, they've been playing in Standing O. You know, so they're they're representing St. Louis. Where Standing O is from, and so Standing O is out. They need to see what they can do. And very surprising team. I'm sure they're very good, but they're going to keep their up. A lot of St. Times Louis, doesn't make it. St. Louis, huge beer pong. Huge. I think anyone in the Midwest is huge in beer pong. You can go to any place from Omaha, Nebraska, to St. Louis, Missouri. To what else do they do? They had cow tipping. That's a stereotype, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> and I love the cow, so we know the cow too. <laughs> Many a man has been in the cow. All right, how many cups do we have left on table three? We've got Seek and Destroy. Kind of the sleepers, we got five to three. Five cups to three cups. Seek and Destroy in the lead. Ooh, big miss right there. That was a huge, huge miss right there. Uh, let's see what happens. There's a big miss right there. Kenny Jennings right now from Chicago. It's a big cup. He's at the line. Gonna have to see if we can hit this shot. It's a big shot right here. How do these guys come up with their nicknames? You know, you got Seek and Destroy. By the way, they took their name from Metallica. Oh. But these guys are, these guys got their names in the back of their jerseys. You got White Boy number six and the boss number 51. Do you think White Boy is just because he grew up in a black neighborhood and that's what they called him? It's possible. I mean, it's very possible. At least, at least he is a white boy, so that makes 
makes sense to have that shirt. We're just stating the obvious. We're just stating the obvious. He's stating the obvious as well. But uh, hey, they're the number one team. You can't argue whatever it's working for them. They're, they're the number one team out there right now. They were number one in prelims, and we'll see what happens. And whatever they're doing is working because the boss, they probably call him the boss because he's in charge of everything. I kind of figured that one out. Number 51, they seem focused. They seem determined to go all the way to this, even though this is their first time around. If you look at them, they have such a different demeanor than to the other teams. You have Ron going crazy. These guys, you know, after they hit a shot or they miss a shot, they're walking around. They're just, like, getting focused. They're not talking to anybody. They're just in their own little zones. Each of them, they're not even talking to each other, which is kind of weird. Usually you talk to your partner. They're not even talking to each other. How many calories do you think Ron Hamilton burns in any given beer pound match? This is a serious question. I mean, Ron, I think before the tournament started, weighed 100 pounds more, and now he loses it all at, at, during the tournament. But you're drinking beer also, so you're packing on oh, the we calories call, we, as you're going we through. We call that replenishing. Weight, it's all water weight, and the way he distracts, he sweats. Like, it, it, his distractions burn every single beer he does during the tournament. Let's just say this is not probably the healthiest sport known to man. Well, you're also, you're not forced to drink, so people drink water, so you don't have to. You can just go with water and everything, but, uh, you know, it's just like any sport. You know, it's an athletic event. You still got to hit cups, you got to do distractions, you got to do what you got to do, and you got to win the game. These guys look more like bowlers. I don't know about bowlers. I mean, bowlers, what do they, they got to do? They're bowling that thing, they walk around, they say, they don't got to no, distract. Just, just their appearance. They look like champions to me. You, you're not allowed to distract that bowling, but it's kind of distracting to watch them. It's almost like in golf. You're not supposed to say anything when the guy's shooting. I don't understand why. Why can't you scream, hey, when the guy's shooting? I don't get it. <laughs> These things are getting heated up, too. So this is double elimination, so we're still in the round of 16. We're still in the round of 16. Uh, we're getting towards the nitty-gritty right now, though. There's a big shot right here. They're down. It's like five cups to one, so... Ooh, okay, stays alive. That's big. You just want it right now because you have to assume the other team's gonna hit the last cup. So you need to hit as many cups you can this turn, so your rebuttal shot is, is a lot less. Pete, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you feel that any sports that you might have performed as a youth or in, earlier in your life, do you think they translate, such as basketball, golf, any any sports like this? Do you think that those skills translate? I think the biggest thing that translates is like the pressure moments, because if you're used to the pressure moments, like, like a lot of guys, they fold in the pressure. You're at the bright lights, you're in Las Vegas. You're not in a regular like, weekly tournament back in Idaho or Nebraska or New Mexico, wherever, where you know, there's 20 people there. You have everybody here surrounding you. The lights are on, 50 grand's online, the pressure is going on. So if you're used to that by playing sports in the big moments, the big people shine. That's why Ron's been one of the best, because this doesn't phase him. This is what he is meant to do, is to be, play in these kind of moments. He's in his own world right now, and it's his world. He's pacing like Rain Man. He's done this twice. He's He's got the, the dog tags two times, right? Ron, just, he goes down. When he has, I don't see, I haven't seen him doing the three-point stand yet, stance yet. I believe that's coming up soon, though, but he always pulls that out. We'll find out what happens over here, but uh, let's see what's going on with Kristen. What do you think? Kristen, go ahead and talk to us, baby. Who are you with? Team Remember the Name with Kenny and Paul. And some really loud, loud fans. They just came off your first loss in the Sweet 16 round. What happened, guys? There's not much to the game at all. Hit cups. It's as simple so as that. Just didn't hit the cups. It's as simple as that. So if you. It will, it will happen, though. It's going to happen. It's gonna happen. So you're out one game, but all it takes is to make the next one, and you guys are still in it, right? Yes, we in our last bracket we lost our our third game. We came back and beat the winners bracket final twice in a row. We're gonna do it again this next round. Anything can happen at the World Series of Beer Pong. Now, how long? <laughs> that there, just there happened. We go. <laughs> okay, how long did you guys prep for this tournament? All year, all year long. All what do you long. What do you do to prep? Just practice. That's it. Bank cups. That's it. That is all. And I don't take anything less. If you guys make it to the final round and you win the $50,000, what are you going to do with the $50,000? Go crazy and spend it all. I have nothing to spend. I have you nothing don't know what you're going to spend it on? Nope. I have no idea what to spend it on. I'm going to spend it on anything I can find. What about you? I'm paying rent. I'm taking you out on a date. Oh, oh that's going to be. Uh, uh, well, you're going to get half, so that's a $25,000 day. Hey. Tell me a little bit about your names, how you came up with them. You know what, honestly, my partner came up with the name himself. And you got, I, I you're like, rocking the Allen Iverson arm sleeves? Yeah. Let's go, SoCal. All right, guys, who do you play next, you know? I, I have no idea. You don't know, no. You do not know yet. You just know you're going to win. Yep. 
All right. Well, we are possibly talking to the future champions of the World Series of Beer Pong. Remember the name. And that's what's up. Exactly. All right. We're going to take it back to Brian and JT. Brian McFadden here alongside my good friend JT. Best friends, you said. Besties. No, and, we're all uh, besties now. Oh, oh, and Pete. Three Zs. Three Zs. Okay, Pete Rawson, who has been such a, an integral part of this broadcast booth, because if it wasn't for you, we would have no idea what the hell we were talking about. You guys make it look pretty, and I'm hey, here with the, uh, some knowledge and everything. You know, throw yeah, it in I'm, there. I'm the rubber Actually, chicken, Christian let's be honest. Sorry. At first, I thought Pete was hitting on us. No, no. <laughs> but we just saw Bang Ring just smoke the team, and they just moved on. They just got a big win. And now we're at a huge game right here where it's Ron Hamilton versus a team of California Kick Rocks, Ron and Foster, and uh, this is the game right here, the only game left in this round. I'm not going to lie, I've got bangering all the way, not just because they think I'm cool and they want to party with me because I'm awesome. It's because of, I dig How their style. How could you not go for a team bangering? Look at oh, Reem. Oh, boy. We got, Somebody's got to get a picture of this guy. Reem, right come, right come on over here. Reem is not afraid. This guy right here, this is the man, bro. This guy. All right, I, I, I told you we We're dug live, it. We're live, baby. We're live. My mom's We're watching, live. so let's not use the F word. Your mom's My mom is watching. I do apologize. All right, Reap. Right. Thanks, so buddy. we've been watching you team. perform. You pretty much destroyed that last team. Chris, get in here. How you doing, baby? No comment. Going to the no comment. About to win some money. So Frazier, you, you, Reap, you guys, guy you guys have talking. been probably one of my favorites to watch in this. You're so charismatic. You, you take distractions you to an all new level. I, I saw you getting a little bit emotional out there during the first elimination. We got heart, bro. We're doing this for new things, man. My father passed away. Like I said, I'm I'm completely dedicated in a whole nother level than anybody here will ever be. I promise you. I play just as much as anybody here. I've beaten every single person here. I've beaten the best of the best, and it's my time. This is an opportunity for you guys to walk away, to go home with fifty thousand dollars in your we pocket. We have two games left. Two games. Two games. Two games to go until you guys are fifty thousand dollars richer. Good yes, luck sir. to you guys. Thank you. All right, brother. Good, Good luck, luck, man. Hey, and this guy right here, Peter. Look at Peter's Peter. a f***ing man, cuz I'll... Hey, tell right. me about your real career. Tell PG-13, PG-13. <laughs> that's Reap right there, Team Bangarang. Uh, Frazier, they're doing their thing. Two more games to go. They're the East Coast champions right awesome here. Stuff. East Coast champs. We're going back to table two, it looks like, where we have a huge game. Look at Ron Hamilton against Team Cali Kick Rocks. Very surprising team. It's an elimination game right now. Let's see what happens. Ron Hamilton is just going bonkers. Ron's in big mode right now. Now, kind of, kind of walk into the. Take us through this, Pete. Well, here we go. It's three cups. It looks like two cups in the other eye, and uh, is a big shot right here. One big miss. It could be ball game. So, huge shot right now. This is a lot of pressure. Let's see what he's up to. Let's see how good he's up to. We've right got now. three cups to two. Expletives just spewing from Hamilton's mouth like normal. It's kind of nice not to have like the microphone on him just because we don't want to hear that. Like I was telling Reap earlier, I my would, mom is watching this, and we don't want to hear that kind of filth. Yeah, he's, he's saying bye bye. That's all he's saying. <laughs> he is saying bye bye. He That's is saying bye bye because if he misses, it looks like it might be a ball game. Ron is the best closure in the game. Everybody knows that. And when you get down, there it is. Uh -oh. this, it's closing time right now. Ron knows it. He's telling Austin, "You hit this cup, I'll win the game." If if uh, Foster hits this, I'm saying Foster and Austin. If Foster hits this shot, I guarantee it. Ron's gonna hit the cup to win the game. Hamilton, yeah. Foster, they win this. They move on. Which would be crazy. Let's see what happens. Let's see if he hits this. Big shot right here. Pressure. Big hit, shit. big right hit right there. there. Huge, huge shot, shot right now. Ron, the closer. Oh, that was just Ooh. off. But That's one to go. That's Ron one to go. With Rick's time, though, he just cups. jumped in. Just, just yeah, Ron didn't even take his time there. I think that's why he missed it. Ron's Ron, lost a shirt. I think he's got shirt. a bigger one plan shirt. for us. He lost one shirt. He's going white to black. Uh, you know, black and yellow, white and black. But he didn't take his time there. I think it was Continuing just like to white say represented, bye bye. White represented being a good guy. Black now, not so much. Correct. I think so. What's going on here? Uh, it's getting ugly. Something's happening. I mean, this is an elimination game. This is you made it this far. Nobody wants to go home right now. Nobody. So. I like how the opposing team is just trash talking the audience, letting them know who's boss. Here we go. This is this is crunch time right here. Do or die. We've this got is, the execs on the floor, making sure that nothing goes wrong. And this is a huge cup because again, you got to assume Ron or, or uh, Foster's gonna hit the last cup. So this is a huge shot right here. Let's see what it is. Hits it. That's big one. cup. That's a big Clutch. cup. You know, this cup. might be an opportune time to mention here it is. the fact that we use cup racks now. We do. There's racks for the cups. Previously, these never, were never used. Is that right, Pete? This is no huge racks. right here. They, there was no racks. And uh, the racks, you know, I like them. They're a good part of the game. They keep the, nobody can knock the cups over. Keep it like clean. sometimes you throw the ball and hits a cup over and it counts. Now it won't knock over. Let's see what happens. 
Ooh, big miss. Oh, that was big an air miss. ball. Big miss. The crowd not agreeing with oh, that move. There was a shot. Oh, wow. Walks it down. Big shot by Ron Hamilton. The best closure in the game. They have two to rebuttal. Let's see what happens. He just said this is my table. Pete, quick uh -oh. question. Do you have, is there any correlation with how loud you bark versus how loud you bite in this game? I mean, with Ron, his bite is as loud as the bark. Other people, probably not, but, but you can't say him. He's a two-time champion. The, the, oh, oh, big hit. This, this is it right there here. It is. They, can they force overtime? Can they oh, force overtime right here? One to go. He lost one an article to tie of clothing to go to overtime. Right here. Do or die time do right or die. here. It's an elimination shot. You hit it, you stay alive in the game, you miss it, you're flying back home in the next flight, sitting not in coach, unhappy. You're sitting way coach. Way coach. Not even in no regular nuts. coach. No you're seven not, you're up. Rent. You're in the baggage. They're chanting now, right now. I notice the cup is askew. Do they have to fix that cup? No, the cup's you there. No, that, that cup's out. That cup's out. Oh. Doesn't matter. That game, oh, that's a game it. winner. This is it. If he hits this, it goes overtime. If he misses it, Ron moves on. Big miss. Oh, wow. That was, that was crunch time right there. That was huge. It's what happens. It's beer pong. Someone's got to win. Someone's got to lose. And now we're getting down to nitty gritty. And this is going to be great. I can't wait to see what happens next. He sucks. I don't know where he is. He's embarrassing. Hi everyone, this is JT. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada at the World Series of Beer Pong 2012. This is the seventh annual event and I'd like to introduce you to Chris Gravel. He took second place last year and we're gonna ask him a little bit about what we can expect this year. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good, I'm excited. I'm super excited. It's, you know, coming up to this, I've been taking it easy, making sure I'm nice and rested. And then New Year's comes and you party and you get here and you're just absolutely exhausted. But at the same time, you're just running on adrenaline. So it's, it's really awesome to be here. I'm really excited for the tournament. What are we going to see out here? We're going to see a, a sea of excited people that are just pouring their hearts out on the table. And that's the thing I love the most about it, is that everyone there is giving it 100% while they're playing. And you never know what's going to happen. That's how the game goes. And that's how it goes. What keeps you coming back? Oh, it's just the atmosphere, really. You know, I come because I'm competitive and I do well at it, but the fact that it's such a good party, it's just, that's the reason I come back. And I'll come back as many years as I can until I can't anymore. In any given contest, how much beer are you putting away? Okay, well, when it comes to a game, we get half a pitcher per team, so you're only putting down, you know, a quarter of a pitcher. But I actually have a superstition when I play is uh, I don't eat before I play because I'm hungry for cups. That's why I'm here, to make cups, and that's what I do. How about distractions? Honestly, whatever goes, as long as you're within the rules behind the table, you can do whatever you want. I'm, as a Canadian, a little polite with it, so I don't do too much. What did I say? I said he hit the two, I hit the one, and it's game over! This is a serious sport, and you've gone through some serious training, I mean, you're fine, you're an athlete. How have you been with the ladies because of this, uh, the development? Uh, Do they give a damn? A lot of the, they, they act like they 
don't like they're not impressed that you but drink they do a lot, but they do exactly jt that's what i'm saying everyone's good at something everyone's good at something and that thing for me would be beer bomb good luck Thank in the you, tournament man. i look forward to tracking your progress and it's a pleasure i'm looking forward to uh all four days here at the world series of beer pong me too